Hello Internet, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. I'm making a quick short video here. We're out here on a job site and we're about to start a foundation and I thought this might be a teachable moment for those construction junkies like me who think about this stuff all day. I mean, we're about to start a foundation here. This concrete here is called a footing. This is basically a trench in the ground dug down to what we call load-bearing capacity soil or more technical term hard dirt that can hold up the house so this concrete it's like a, a trough of concrete and we have steps where the elevation changes um, that holds up the house so we build a cinder block wall and that's what all these cinder blocks are over here these masonry blocks and there's one in process now that will look a lot better when it's done but um, this side of the house is the lower side, downhill side, so that wall looks a little bit like the Great Wall of China. But once we get the siding on there, we're going to put like a parging. It gives it that stucco look. It's going to look real pretty. Anyway, so that's what we have to build here. Now, the question always is, is how high do we make our wall? Now, we have these these center posts here are called piers. or just um, where we build a pier or a piling. It's just a stack of cinder blocks that holds up your floor system, and that's usually... The, length, the width of a 2 by 10 below um, below the floor system. That's where we put what's called a drop girder. So we want those high enough so that the, so that the structural members are not too close to the soil. Um, and there is a code for that. But this lot, what makes it unique is the way this house is situated, it's almost down in a hole. That's There's one low spot where you know the water drainage would go. But typically we'd like to put the house up on the higher spot part of the lot but that was the only place we could fit a septic system you see all those flags i don't know if you can see them colored flags where the septic system is so that was a basically off limits we couldn't put the house anywhere further up and we really it really wasn't practical to put it downhill down the hill there and then we would have to have a pump septic system and a much larger driveway which would contribute to the expense so then we were kind of this was the only place we could really put put the house now there's some issues here the road is up there okay there's our temporary driveway, but our driveway has to be that height. And you see how we're kind of down in a hole, but that has to be that way because when the water comes down here, we can't direct it around the septic field. That's a no-no, having, having uh, the water. So it has to come here, go over to the driveway and out this pipe here and out that culvert and follow along down the low side of the property. However, that culvert is higher than this footing. So we're going to have to build this foundation wall up high enough so where we can slope dirt and, and direct the water that way. So we're going to have to bring in some soil here, but the question is how high do you make your foundation? So if you see these blocks here, these cinder blocks, everyone, I put them end to end, so that's two courses of blocks. This block are eight inches. This is six, they're eight by 16. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses of block high off the footing. So I leave it this way, and I put it over there. That one, there's two steps, two eight-inch steps in the footing. There's one, one over there. So that one is, that one's three block. This is four block, or four double block, I'm sorry. Each one of these. So this will be eight, and that will be six. So if I kind of sight down from this block over top of that one, Kind of see when I when I sight it level, it's right there, right there, about even with that driveway. So, or maybe just a little bit higher, a little bit higher, so that we can have slope there, right where the driveway is. So we're gonna have to put a lot of gravel in this garage, but it's a little technique we use. Um, we can come out with laser transits and all that, which we will do at the foundation, but this just lets me do it in the field, so I can tell them how how high I want this now. Trusting my sight here, my instincts on this is something that is um, we can do, but I want the graders to come out because they have to make this work. So I want to make what I have planned in my head consistent with what they have because they grade all day long. But what I don't want to do is get a house built like that and realize that I put my graders in a pickle because they can't make the water work. Um, um, so these are these are pretty subtle things, but they have to be thought out beforehand or you can end up with a real mess that's expensive to fix by the way this is part of what we do all day this is part of the thought process that builders have to go through so hopefully 
you found something of value in this video and uh if so click the like and the subscribe button because that helps us on the algorithm thank you for watching our site